Contact Form 7 is a hugely popular WordPress plugin used to create simple and effective forms on WordPress websites. This particular video focuses on setting up the mail tab in Contact Form 7 in the correct manner. We found there are a few common mistakes people make when setting up their forms that can cause problems. This video will help you to avoid those issues. Don't worry if your page looks slightly different to ours. This is because we use CF7 skins to make the creation of Contact Form 7 forms easier for us. However, if you wish to use the exact same method as this video, the CF7 skins plugin has a free version available for download in the WordPress plugin directory. The main purpose of this video is to show you how to set up the mail side of Contact Form 7 forms so they will hopefully work flawlessly on your first try. If you would rather read and work through this at your own pace, we have an article on the CF7 Skins knowledge base that explains the same thing that you can work through in your own time. This video will be focusing on the mail settings, but of course first we have to set up a form. We use CF7 Skins to make this a lot easier for us. We do this by creating a new form, giving it a name, and then selecting a template and a style. In this case, we have chosen the contact template and the blue steel star, which we really like, but then again, we're biased because we made it. Now that we have that shameless plug out of the way, we can focus on the mail tab, which can be selected by clicking on the mail tab button to the right of the form tab button. The first few fields you will come across are the to, from, and subject fields, which are areas where a few people go wrong. The to field is probably the simplest field and should contain the email address you want the information to be sent to. In this case, we have used the email address email at cf7skins.com. The from field is where the email is coming from and should once again contain an email address. Please note the email address we have used is a valid email from the same domain as the one the form is hosted on. This is to prevent the emails being flagged as spam. Emails being flagged as spam is a common problem and will be covered in depth in another video. CF7 shortcodes can also be used in this field, but in this case we have chosen not to. The subject can also be CF7 shortcode. In this case, it will be whatever the form user filled in the subject field. It can be a good idea to make this a required field, as if the form user leaves this field blank, the email may not actually send due to a lack of subject without it indicating why it did not send. You can read more on this subject in the link relating to validation problems listed below. Additional headers are often not used by users of Contact Form 7 because of a lack of understanding, which is a shame because they can be quite useful and are very simple to implement. In this case, we have used two additional headers. CC, which sends a carbon copy of the email, in this case going to whatever the user has filled in in the Your Email field, and a BCC, which is sending a blind carbon copy to the email address manager at cf7skins.com whenever the form is filled in. The next important field is the message body. This is what will appear within the email and will show whatever you tell it to. In this example, we are using the default settings for the template contact, which is a combination of text and shortcode. Anything not surrounded by the square brackets is simply text and will show up as is in the email. The stuff inside the brackets will grab the information filled out within the form. For example, the first line of the email will read from and will then display both the name filled in within the form as well as the email address the users entered into the form. What you put into this field is up to you. However, we recommend you take the time to set up this field so it will appear in a way that will be easiest for you to comprehend quickly and easily upon receiving an email. You are also able to put some special mail tags within this field that you may find very useful. These are things that might display the date, time or IP from which the form was submitted. A list of all these tags and their functions can be found on the Contact Form 7 website. A link has been placed below in the description for easy access. A particularly handy example of how this might be useful would be if you had a website in which the same contact form is used on multiple different pages and you wish to know from which page the form is being sent. The tag you would use in this case would be the post URL tag.
A common source of confusion for users of Contact Form 7 is Mail 2, as some are unsure of what it should be used for. The answer is actually surprisingly simple. It is used for whatever you think it should be used for. It is commonly used as an order reply to acknowledge or thank the form user, but it could also be used to send an email to the business when the form is filled in. Okay, that's done. Your mail form should now be set up. If you have followed these steps and you are still having problems, don't panic. There is a link in the description below that you can read through and follow to help troubleshoot issues you may be having. Or you can ask a question on the Contact Form 7 support forum, which is also in the description.